Good morning, everyone. Um, I am not really sure who this person is or really how I came across this on my Facebook feed, but I thought that this would be something good to read, and it's very important to read because I will start off by saying that typically, not not that I don't think Black Lives Matter because they absolutely do. I believe all do, but Black Lives Matter. They do. Okay, I would never say otherwise. The movement itself, the way it's been portrayed, at least by the media, has left me wondering how much the group of Black Lives Matter um, actually cares about black lives. But that being said, I'm going to read this, and then you'll understand why I'm, I'm saying this. Okay? So it says something about the Boston protest. I woke up this morning filled to the brim with a whirlwind of emotions over the things I witnessed last night. The world, myself included, is railing over the unjust killing of George Floyd. All of the officers responsible for his death deserve to be in jail. This is something everyone agrees on. Absolutely, I 100% agree on that. Politicians, every major news outlet, police chiefs, police officers... Town officials and everyone else from the president down to you and me has publicly condemned the actions of those officers. We are all eagerly awaiting the justice system to run its course and put these four officers behind bars where they belong. Absolutely. This event has mobilized protests across the country. Last night, I spectated the protests in Boston, and here is what I saw. Okay. So it starts off saying, My opinion of the Black Lives Matter movement has changed dramatically after watching events unfold yesterday. I often held the BLM movement responsible for the destruction found in the wake of their protests. I no longer do, certainly not for last night. I'm also going to say that um, if any of you follow me on Facebook, you will also see that before I saw this, I saw a video of... Black women, like there was like two or three of them there, who were yelling at two white Antifa women to stop spraying a Starbucks um, with down with white supremacy, something like that, and Black Lives Matter. And they were begging them, please don't do this, even though these women, women kept saying, I'm doing this for you. They're like, you're not doing this for me. All you're doing is making people see this, and they're going to think it's us, and they're going to blame it on us. So, anyway, I'm going to go ahead and keep reading. Yesterday, I arrived in Boston around 3 p.m. and watched for hours as protests for protesters, I'm sorry, peacefully marched through the streets and Boston Common chanting for the injustices they feel and changes they want to see. They were polite, cordial, handing each other free waters and thanking the officers directing traffic as they navigated the city. This is the true definition of an American protest. Absolutely. I 100% support your right to protest. It is your right as an American. As long as you do it, peacefully. And yes, believe it or not, all you naysayers out there, you can do it peacefully. Anyway, we have all heard the rumors that the violent protesters come from other states or out of town and show up with the sole intention to cause mayhem. I do not buy into conspiracy theories at all. However, I am compelled to share what I saw and heard firsthand. At 7.30, when the crowd was seemingly at its largest, I had a small conversation with an older man who was very concerned. He told me how he had gotten, how he had just gotten a phone call from a friend that the trains are loaded with, quote-unquote, protesters, and they're heading towards the city. Around 8 to 8.30 p.m., the protests started to dissipate, and the crowd got smaller and smaller. I even went back to my vehicle prepared to make my way back home. While sitting there waiting for traffic to open up so I could pull out of my parking spot, I watched hundreds if not thousands of protesters leave the state house. At the same time, I watched hundreds of new faces walking against 
the leaving crowd, making their way toward the small group of original protesters that were still there. I decided to stick around and see what was going to happen. All right. It says, around 9.15, things began to spiral downward. An officer drove his cruiser up to the crowd, and almost immediately bega people began throwing water bottles at and attacking the cruiser. This is also when storefront windows began to get broken. As this started, the real Black Lives Matter protesters could be heard over their megaphones pleading to stop throwing things, stop breaking things, and that this is not what they were about or there for. The rioters did not listen or care. Quickly, the remainder of the Black Lives Matter movement left, and the crowd then consisted of a few hundred rioters, and things took a turn for the worse from there. During the next few hours, I heard multiple times rioters discussing how they met at the previous protests across the country. I heard them talking about what tactics work and which ones don't. I watched them coordinate attacks on the police and cause distractions while others looted. The group that protests unjust police brutality and the group I'm sorry. The group that protests unjust police brutality and the group they said it wrong, I can't read this. The starts fires, breaks windows and loots are not one and the same. I watched as rioters hurled glass bottles, rocks, bricks, and even fireworks at the police officers standing guard, and I must say I am so proud of the Boston PED. They showed tremendous restraint in the face of a violently antagonistic crowd. I stood in disbelief watching them take attack after attack and not retaliate. They did a fantastic job of breaking up the crowd into smaller groups to minimize destruction, and I truly believe lives were saved because of their calm and coordinated efforts. Every officer I spoke to, I told what a phenomenal job they were doing and that their service was truly appreciated. It breaks my heart to see a city I have come to love and spent so much time in and learning its history to be torn to pieces. I do, however, have every faith Boston will recover like it always has. I haven't watched any of these videos yet. Um, I'll leave the, the link to this post in the description so that if you would like, you can um, you could go on to Facebook and watch these videos yourselves. Um, I'm not going to react to them in this video just because my emotions are going to be super raw and sometimes I can't control the shit that comes out of my mouth so I'm protecting my own ass. <laughs> anyway, yes, like I said, excuse me, earlier in this video, I posted stuff previously of Black Lives Matter movement members pleading with two Caucasian females dressed as Antifa. You good over there, girl? Sorry, that was my dog. Dressed as Antifa, spraying graffiti all over buildings in the name of Black Lives Matter. If Black Lives Matter to them, as much as these Anquifa say they do, then you'd think that they would listen. But no. They just kept shouting over these women, insisting that they were doing it for them. We're on your side. We're here for you. But they're sitting there telling them, you're not here for us. You're not doing this for us. We didn't ask you to. We didn't tell you to come do this. And all you're doing is making more problems for the black community and how these motherfuckers, if they, if they really were for the black community like they insist that they are, how the fuck can you not see that? A blind man can fucking see that shit. You going around rioting, looting, assaulting police officers, causing violence, and hurting innocent people in the wake of everything, you know? All that's doing is putting more of a stain on the reputation of the black community. You're not helping, you're making it worse. I can only hope that anyone who is associated with Antifa hears this, and I could give you a big fuck you. That's not for 
the Black Lives Matter movement. That's not for black people. That's just a general. Because you know what? A lot of them have been saying the same exact thing. They don't want people to speak for them. They can speak for themselves. They just want you to back them up. So you know what? I back y'all up. I don't know. I don't know, you know, the full extent of everything. Because I'm white. I'm never going to fully understand what y'all are going through, you know. And But I've had a chance to speak with people that are. And I'm just, I'm sitting back and I'm only coming in when I'm asked to or when I feel like I have no choice but to. Just like I did when that poor man, George Floyd, was, was murdered. I don't give a fuck what none of y'all say. That was flat out murder, okay? And I will continue to do it, whether it makes people hate me or they agree with me. That point is moot. It doesn't matter. And that's how it should be with everybody. I'm seeing more and more protests everywhere, including out in my neck of the woods. Near, I live near Atlanta. I'm not going to say where I live because people are fucking cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs. Anyway, it doesn't matter. But... I'm seeing it everywhere. This shit needs to stop. It does. It really does need to stop. And people need to wake the fuck up and see that... This shit is suspicious as fuck, man. Seriously. It's not Black Lives... If it's not Black Lives Matter, then who the fuck is doing this? People were getting tired of listening to the COVID, so now they're... So now they're trying to use the death of an innocent man to stir the pot some more. What's going to be next, everybody? That's what I'm afraid of. Anyway, I just got back from visiting family for my my Nana's funeral. God rest her soul. So I got a shit ton of unpacking and house cleaning to do. All y'all be safe. If you insist on going out to these riots and the protests, please use common sense. Be safe. Don't do no stupid shit. You can get your point across without hurting anybody else. Alright? I truly do love you all. Stay safe and God bless.